<laughs> What's up everybody? It's another episode of Go-Kart Academy sponsored by 893 Motorsports. What we have today is a brand new Talcart Rapido V1 and we're going to show you guys how to put on a sticker kit. And so the sticker kit, relatively easy. You're only going to need a couple of tools. Uh, first, you're going to need a heat gun. So got to have that. Nice. <laughs> Heat gun. Guys, heat guns don't shoot like that. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, so you're gonna need a heat gun. And number two, you're gonna need X-Acto knife, guys. So uh, this will be for getting some of the air bubbles out, a little bit of trimming where we need to do, and cutting around some of the holes on the NASA panel and, uh, and a couple other things, so. So one of the things that I, people often might think is, hey, not only do I need a heat gun, but I do, do I need a squeegee? And so, you actually, the answer is you don't want to use a squeegee. You don't want to use anything that rubs these, these, uh, these stickers, because if you use a squeegee, you're actually going to be rubbing off the film. Yeah, you can actually damage the stickers uh, as you're rubbing over them. There are versions that have a clear coat on top of them uh, that I've seen people using squeegees, but we prefer here at Go-Kart Academy to just use our fingers and then kind of work from the middle out. And we'll go over that as we're applying the stickers. Yep. So in today's tutorial, it's gonna be relatively simple. We're gonna show you how to put a sticker kit on a brand new Italcart Rapido V1. Let's get to it. Yep. Hey guys, so we've laid out our sticker kit. It's always good to do this when you are about to apply your stickers. So you have the right matching stickers. It gives you an idea of how it's gonna look on the cart. I always prefer to put body stickers or put the sticker kits on when the cart body is on the actual cart. It gives you a visual idea of where you want to position and how all the lines are going to match up. Remember guys, we're taking something that's flat and bending it around a curve. So this is why we need to have all of this stuff done at the same time. This helps you orient yourself, get all the lines lined up and then apply. So let's get to it. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with this first side pod here. We're gonna need some alcohol swabs. This will ensure that we get a good bond on a completely lint-free and oil-free surface. While you're at it, I just like to go ahead and wipe the entire pod down so we know that we've gotten everything. You could also do this with a microfiber and you know isopropyl alcohol, which will work perfectly fine. Again, just wiping down, ensuring that every inch of the pod is cleaned off and ready for prep. Next, after that, we're gonna take our heat gun, get the uh, plastic to heat up a little bit. It'll help to adhere to the sticker and we'll heat the sticker and we'll go ahead and uh, put it on. So give me a second here, guys. We'll let that dry. Make sure we get every little piece off. Make sure you see any lint or things like that. If you see burrs, of where the plastic was molded. There's a couple little here and you just want to like kind of pick them off wherever you can and make sure there's nothing going to interfere or puncture your new sticker kit. So guys, we've got our side pod here, our side pod sticker here. I like to kind of lay it up here, get an idea of where my starting and ending point will be and just kind of getting an eyeball for it and go, okay, this is what it looks like. Look at the bottom, see where you want to have it placed. Make sure it's all centered. So, next guys, we're going to go ahead, turn our heat gun on. This doesn't have to be super hot, just hot enough to get the, to get the plastic warmed up. I also like to warm up the sticker a little bit. You can warm up the back or the front. This will just give you better adhesion to the pod. Set that aside so you don't burn yourself. And I like to start from the top. Sometimes these can be fun to try and get them away from the backing. Okay, guys, if you start from the top, this will allow you to position the line all the way across the sticker and you can get it in the right position. 
or the position that you want. So I like to kind of fold it back, guys, like I'm showing you here. Gives you a good place to hold it on either side. Gives you a good place to kind of get it in position. Uh, can, again, this way, when you do this, guys, you can remove it a little bit at a time as you're going. See how I'm adjusting to get the fit? I like it to just go right around the top because we know that we're going to have, we're going to have a couple intersecting lines on this decal or this sticker. You see how guys, I'm just using my finger to let it down there. There you go. Okay guys, so next, I'd like to flip this up a little bit and take our heat gun and we're gonna heat up underneath here as we peel down the sticker and work it with our fingers back and forth, okay? So guys, we've gone ahead and heated up the sticker it's in the right place. I like to start in the middle. I'll pull it down. As you're holding, just work this out with your finger. Making sure to get all the air bubbles out. There we go. Even if you have to pick up just at the edge to get some bubbles out, it's not gonna hurt the adhesion on your sticker. There we go, guys. What do you think? I like it. We're gonna go ahead and fit the top section of our side pot on here. I like to lay it up here, make sure we have an idea of where it needs to be. See these all these lines that are intersecting? Like anything, man, you want a cool looking cart, and so, Getting these lines matched up is always great. So take your time with these. Um, you know, it's not a race yet. Not until you get in the cart. So we're just gonna heat everything up and, uh, and apply this one down. So guys, um, like I said before, just heat up your, heat up your sticker, get it ready. For the top stickers, I like to go ahead and just peel it back all at once. It's not a very big section on most carts. So you can apply it somewhat and then pull it back off if you need to reposition. So I like to pull it off, holding the least amount of possible so you don't get the oils from your fingers. Get down to eye level, kind of get all these lines. If you can get these lines to meet up, it is going to look really good. Again, working, holding one corner, working each and every little bubble out. This will save you time. It'll save you holes in your decal, guys. Again, when you gotta pick it up, a little bit to get it to run perfect. There you go, guys. So I am going to use you, show you guys here where we can use the X-Acto knife. We pushed a bunch of air bubbles all together into one spot. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just going to take your X-Acto knife, pop a little hole in it, push it out. You'll never see it again. A little bit one here, a little hole. And the hole that you pop pretty much disappears. Anyway guys, so that's the basics. Heat gun, make sure you prep it with alcohol. Take your time. It, if you take your time, you will not ruin a sticker kit. So get it positioned correctly for the side big pieces. Use one side to start on the top and then pull the backing off and slowly work it out. Exacto knife. I have done this with a regular razor blade, guys, and it is worth the $6 or whatever for an actual Exacto knife. Uh, the hole that it makes is a lot smaller than a regular razor blade. So, I highly recommend alcohol, heat gun, and an Exacto knife. 
you'll have a great sticker kit and your cart will look amazing on race day. All right, guys, we're gonna get to the rest of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed that speed run through putting on a sticker kit onto a brand new Italcart Rapido V1. Looks great. I think it turned out excellent. Dude, I'm loving the new stickers and this design from Italcart. Like the sparkles, mm. looks great. There's a couple things that we wanna give you in terms of tips. Number one, use that heat gun. You're gonna have to reapply the stickers probably multiple times as you eyeball it and you stretch it. These stickers are stretchable just a little bit so you can get them right into those corners. The second thing is bubbles, don't exacto worry. Knife. Don't worry about it. You got an exacto knife by just poking a hole, you can rub those bubbles right out. One other thing when it comes to the exacto knife is making sure that you don't leave any stickers hanging off the sides because you don't want to have debris work its way underneath the sticker and then it'll eventually work its way down and you'll have a ruined sticker kit. Exactly. Um, sticker kits aren't cheap. So again, you want to preserve it as long as possible, make it look pretty. We'll probably shine this one up a little bit more with sure. some of our Motul shine. And, uh, Absolutely, on. yeah. If you haven't seen that video on Motul versus WD-40, which one's better for cleaning your cart, make sure you check out that video on gokart.academy in the forums. Again, last tip here, guys, take your time. When it comes to doing these sticker kits, it's better to do it right than to find out later on the track that you started to collect all these GGs and all these, uh, <laughs> all these dirt pieces that are pulling your sticker up. Um, so do, do a good job, be thorough, and you'll be, and you'll, your sticker kit will last a long time. Thanks again, guys, for being here for this it's pretty simple tutorial on how to put on a sticker kit on a, uh, a towel cart here. Let us know your comments and suggestions below. Leave us any uh, questions that you might have. Uh, smash the like button, subscribe, and obviously sign up for gokart.academy. We'll see you guys out on the track. All right, we'll see you guys 